In this lecture, I will explain you about aggregated Ethernet or link aggregation group in Juniper. What is aggregated Ethernet interface? You can group or bundle multiple Ethernet interfaces together to form a single logical interface known as aggregated Ethernet interface. In this case, four physical interfaces are grouped together to form a aggregated Ethernet interface AE0. What is the benefit of aggregated Ethernet interface? Let's discuss. First benefit is increase the bandwidth. How? Previously, when you look at the physical interfaces, the bandwidth of the physical interface is 1 gig. When you combine all the four interfaces, then the bandwidth will be 4 gig. Second benefit is availability. If any physical link goes down, the traffic is reassigned to another member link. Suppose G0 slash 0 slash 0 is goes down, then the traffic will be reassigned to the other members. Third benefit is load balancing. AE bundle balance the load traffic across all the member links. Traffic will be shared across all the four member links. One more thing, the speed of the link should be the same at both ends. If G is 0 slash 0 slash 0 is 1 gig, then at the other end, the interface should be 1 gig only. Then only it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. Next, we will move to the LACP. What is LACP? Link Aggregation Control Protocol is a monitoring protocol that detects link layer failure within a network. You can use LACP to monitor the local end and remote ends of member links in a line. What is the benefit of the LACP? First benefit is link monitoring. LACP detects invalid configuration on the local end as well as the remote end of the link. And what are the other benefits? Next. Second benefit is redundancy. If a link fails, LACP ensures that traffic continues to flow on the remaining links. Suppose if G0 slash 0 slash 0 down, then LACP ensures that the traffic which was running from the G000, then it will shared across the other links other three active links. Now we will move to the lab and verify all the details what we discussed here and much more. First set the device count for the amount of aggregated Ethernet interface you want to use. Go to the configuration mode set chassis aggregated Ethernet device count 1. In this case we required only one AE, so that's why I have set the device count 1. If you want more AE, then you can set the device count accordingly. Now we will set the AE0 parameters, set interface AE0, aggregated ether option, LACP, active, minimum links 2, and I will set the IP address on interface A0 interface as well. Internet address 10.10.1.1 slash 30. Now go to the interface mode and set the member interfaces and specify the interface A0. Added interface set G0000 e ether option. 802.3ad no e0 logical interface similarly to the other interface copy g2 gf0 slash 1 
similarly zero plus two seven zero plus three as well of show compare commit and quit similarly we will do the configuration on r2 router as well first we will set the device con then we will set the a0 parameter set interface a0 lsat active minimum links to set interface a0 unique set interface a0 unit 0 family inet address 10.10.1.2 slash study now go to the edit interface and set the member interface and specify the a0 interface set g-0 slash 0 slash 0 take ether option 802.3ad and a0 then similarly with um, similarly for other interface as well g-0 slash 0 slash 1 for 2 and 3 also then talk show compare commit and quit let's verify the bundle interface show e interface e e0 now the speed is showing 4 g why because we have merged or combined 4 1g interfaces into one logical interface that's why it is showing 4 g capacity of a0 similarly on r2 as well i will check the lscp show lscp interface a0 so here all four interfaces are active and here some role is showing actor and partner actor is in the sense the interface is local to this router and the partner means the interface belongs to the remote remote router and active lacp active is configured on local in local router and active configured on remote router as well similarly for a g 0 slash 0 slash 1 2 3 so lacp also working fine now if i shut any one interface then it will not impact on the traffic as well as the a0 interface first i will ping 10.10.1.2 address i am able to ping the other end router so <coughs> now i will shut the interface on r2 router set interface g0 disable commit see there is no ping drop and is show interface a0 interface is up as well it is taking some time now, see i have shared one interface and the a0 speed is 3 gig per second only currently three interfaces is active in the bundle show lscp run show lscp interface a0 see currently three interfaces are active only one is port disable one is not active If you see the output for show LACP interface A0 in activity field, it is showing active. 
Why? Because I have that the LSAP mode is active here. Another one is passive. Mode active does mean it will send the hello packet for the LSAP and will respond to the hello packets as well. Passive will only respond to the LSAP packet. It will not send any hello packet. Not at all. Pass period. By default in Juniper, it is set to pass period. So that's it in this video guys.